what is going on crypto miners today is the day we're gonna go over my solar setup now you guys know i got this solar setup over here but i do have a brand new one coming and i kind of want to go over it with you guys just kind of get my plans together where i'm going to put the panels how i'm going to do this inside the trailer because i think i got a little bit of a plan so this is where you guys come in now i need to figure out what i want to do with these batteries right because these batteries i just hate how messy it looks even though it's not that messy i just I don't know for me it's really annoying so I think what I'm going to do after just looking at this for a minute and actually contemplating what I want to do I might end up taking out this metal rack and just build some sort of rack that's a little bit closer together so they're a little bit uh lower to the ground because you can see they're kind of suspended off the ground there I think the first row can actually sit on the ground and then just kind of make a wooden shelf that is as wide as this right here from here to there because you can see if I slid this 200 amp hour battery over a bit I do have some room here so I think that would fit perfectly and then I could just leave these batteries right here take this grow watt inverter and move it over to where the cell phones are because you can kind of see if I can back up you can see they're close to the same height and moving those batteries down a little bit should give me plenty of room. And then again, that will basically take care of all the exhaust fans. So this exhaust fan, I believe is like 50 or so watts, if I'm not mistaken. Let's plug this thing in and see what we're looking like. I just kind of threw this other timer here, right on the same one as this. So we got 193 watts, 194 basically on these two KS0s right now that are running directly from solar, as you guys can see. We don't have any grid power tied in, even though it does have the option to plug into grid. I have it completely off. So yeah, let's plug this in and just see what the wattage draw on this fan is, because I don't think we'll have any issues running all six of these fans with solar 24 seven here. All right, so obviously I'll have to do some uh, <laughs> rewiring because that's pretty stretched, but you can see 244, 245 watts right now so again about 50 or so watts these things pull 55 watts or so and these fans they should be perfect for what i need if i had all six of them running that should be mint right that's 150 so about 300 watts we would be pulling to run all the exhaust fans and that grow watt inverter should be able to handle at least that while the 6000 xp from signature solar can run literally everything else all my crypto miners and i don't have to worry about shutting this stuff off because i'm getting like over 6,000 watts in panels that are coming with that whole setup. Again, go check that video out if you guys haven't seen it, but super excited about this. Actually, I'm gonna leave this on for a minute just because why not? Let's go uh, Let's go out to my solar setup now. I can show you guys how I have them, where I'm gonna put the new stuff, and then, uh, yeah, we'll check out the batteries that actually came. So over here is uh, the solar setup I have going right now just for the grow lot stuff, and the location sucks. It's right behind trees, right? South is actually directly this way, okay, or right there more or less in between these trees and yeah this sucks so it typically gets hit like noon time until the end of the day right and these panels are filthy i need to clean them oh my gosh yeah they need to be cleaned but nonetheless that's what's running the grow watt stuff and that's going to stay there so now my new panels are going to be going over here across the other side of my driveway if you could see those other panels are over there so it's going to be a far run from where i'm going to have these panels and where the trailer actually sits but you can see i got some wood here i'm going to be actually building a pergola right here between my sprinkler setup and i think the reflection on these bifacial panels from my fence should actually work very well instead of having to do white rocks because obviously you can see south again is that way and yeah the the bifacial panel should be able to pick up plenty of sunlight from the back side of this fence but i'm going to be doing it from where is it? What the hell is that? I thought that was a sprinkler hole, and that is not a sprinkler hole. Damn chipmunks or something. All right, sprinkler. Got one right here. So this is the eighth pole over. I skip two, and then I have on the fifth pole right here, I have another sprinkler. So I'm going to be putting a um, pergola between those two and basically re-angling that so it stops more or less at a 90 degree and does this way. And same thing with that one, going the opposite direction because I have sprinklers over here that will spray this way and still take care of the grass so I don't have to ruin my grass and I should be able to get some reflection off that and I just I'm trying to avoid putting rock down but if I have to put rock down to get some more wattage out of these panels then I will but super excited about this let me know if you guys want to see a DIY me actually building this pergola and getting all the solar panels on them I'm gonna do like a pitched angle again facing south which should maximize all the uh, solar input 
Anyways, that's the plan on the pergola there. Now, super excited to get to this because three of these batteries came yesterday, or sorry, two days ago, and I still haven't opened them yet. This is the 100 amp hour 48 volt server rack batteries that are actually going to be going in a fully decked out server rack battery setup, right? Uh, they all got breakers and everything, and I haven't opened any of these boxes. These things are over 100 pounds a piece. So let's get one of these things actually opened up right here, and then we'll get one into the trailer and just see how freaking big the thing is. I'm just going to actually lay it down on the dolly like that. I think that'll be best. All right, let me cut this thing open. This is always fun, one-handed. I'm assuming these things got like a crazy packaging job inside of them. But man, the weight on these alone is unreal. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, what's this for? This is for communication between the batteries? The, the batteries communicate? What is happening? Oh man, that's a lot of foam. All right, let's see. Ooh, yes. All right, let me get this all out. Give me one second. Sweet baby Jesus, this thing is heavy as hell, and I'm gonna have six of them in the trailer. That's crazy. Anyways, EG4 LL 48 volt 100 amp hour rack mounted battery. That's what we're looking at here. All right, this thing has got a power on off switch. It's got the positive and negative terminals, as you can see on either side, which makes it super freaking neat. They have their own breaker and they got their own alarm and all this stuff when the battery gets too low i gotta read up on this i don't know much about it but this is insane and i've never dealt with a 48 volt battery setup so we got to be careful this is definitely a bit more uh crazy than what i'm used to but i did get let's see these are the this is all the concrete by the way for the sauna tubes that i'm gonna put down for the uh or the i'm gonna put like five gallon buckets in the ground to hold down the pergola because that thing's gonna weigh a ton but nonetheless this uh, battery came with these cables. Are these cables thick enough to hook this to the uh, the server rack once it comes? Because it's got like its own bus bar on the server rack, I would assume. Should be all right. You know, obviously positive on this side, negative on this side. And then they jump through each other and you uh, cross connect them in the server rack. But yeah, let me know. I don't know what gauge this is. It looks kind of looks kind of small. I'm gonna have to read up on it again. I don't know much about this, but nonetheless, then we have uh, the communication cable. I think plugs in somewhere. Oh, right here on the side. Oh, look at that. Damn. That's got a lot of ports, man. All right, yeah, I definitely have to read up. Oh, battery communication, uh, RS-485. I think that's communication with the actual um, unit itself, the uh, 6000 XP, if I'm not mistaken. But again, I got to read up on all of this stuff. And then we got some toggle dip switches that need to be obviously situated and figured out. But all right, let's bring this over to the trailer. I want to see how big this thing is in place and see where we can put it because it's actually a little bit deeper than it is wide, which is actually kind of nice. All right, let's do it. No joke, I'm already sweating my ass off. <laughs> it is, it is going to be brutal moving these things around. But for size reference, you guys can see this is the X4Q from Jingle Mining, right? They are pretty much the same height, but this battery is definitely wider and I would say a little bit thicker. Not too much, but it's pretty damn close. Drag that over so you can see. Yeah, it's a bit bigger. So nonetheless, I gotta figure out where to put these things. I'm thinking rack mountable rack can go right there. Actually just tight against the wall, have all the battery stuff there. Then I could put the 6000 XP right here on the wall if it fits right next to it I'll do that and then any type of switches and stuff right up in the top corner to keep everything nice and neat and then um, Yeah, if that doesn't work, then I could just put the 6000 XP here or whatever the case may be But yeah, I think that's kind of a good setup because the rack is I would assume just a tiny bit wider than This unit itself right maybe a couple inches on the left and the right and then yeah that should fit perfectly and when it comes to with actually hmm yeah i think if i laid it down i don't want to drop it but if i laid it down i think it's about as wide as that so that should work pretty damn well and even if it protrudes a little bit into the doorway i don't care this is just like a temporary setup and i'm probably gonna end up leaving it open at this point anyways because now we're gonna have exhaust fans running which i'm super excited about man i still can't believe how heavy this damn battery is so six of these <laughs> is going to be in freaking insane but i can't wait to get it done now for anybody that doesn't know, this is a 48 volt system that I'm going to be having, okay? So 48 volt systems are actually 
um, like or 48 volt batteries, I should say rather. This is 100 amp hours at 48 volts. This equals four of these batteries, right? So these are 12 volts, 100 amp hour batteries. So four of these equal one of these, if that makes sense. So 100 amp hours at 48 volts versus the alternative 100 amp hours or 400 amp hours at 12 volts. So that's how I got these things all wired up. If you guys haven't seen my other videos, go check them out. But so one of these again equals one row. So I have six actually of these batteries coming in total and I don't know if they're all going to come at the same time but I'll at least get three or four of them collected and put together for the uh, 6000 XP when it shows up and then I'll probably end up adding the other three once those arrive because again three came and the other three are still waiting to ship so I should have about 1200 amp hours of batteries and again the solar array actually that I'm going to be having on the 6000 XP is so much larger than what I have on this guy now I got 2000 watts of solar panels on this one I'm going to be having over 6000 on the 6000 XP and I can actually add more up to 10,000 watts of solar panels so it's going to be an insane endeavor to get this all hooked up and running and I can't freaking wait and that fan man that was a good idea I'm glad I did that because it's it's still hot in here, right? Nonetheless, it's definitely still hot in here, but I could definitely feel it getting a little cooler, or maybe not. Maybe it's just because the wind's moving, it feels cooler to me, but it's definitely not cooler in here. All right, anyways, that's that. I think we're pretty much good there. So guys, let me know if that's a good idea. This stuff right here on the rack, 6,000 XP there, switches there if that fits. Move this guy over here redesign this so the rack is actually just looking a bit better and everything's a little bit more condensed and I think we're in good shape I really do and then the last thing I actually forgot to mention was the actual panel wiring to get it over to here right I do need to get it over from where it's going to be like I said it's it's going over there past my quad that's where we were right so I need to get the wires this way right I'm gonna go around my house I think out the back and come in over here under the trailer whatever dig a trench and get it all buried but what size cable do I need what gauge right I think I have I think it's eight gauge maybe that I have right now on these panels right here if I'm not mistaken I think that's eight gauge and I actually have it wired like total shit just across the ground which is totally unsafe and I'm gonna be taking some of this dirt and actually burying that in the ground I just kind of picked it up and threw it back for the time being while I was digging some stuff out back but yeah I gotta get all that buried but nonetheless I do have to figure out what gauge wire I need to get from over there to over here because it is a far ass run i think it should be fine if i have a heavy enough gauge cable you guys just need to let me know about that in the comments anyways guys i appreciate y'all hanging out hopefully you're excited about this content because i can't wait to make it you guys have a great fantastic day and i will catch you on the next one peace out